Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my goodness, it is already Wednesday, the middle of the week. Wow, I mean, the, the whole year has kind of flown by. Have we noticed this? Uh, kind of, I mean, it's already June. It's June, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, we're not here talking about the dates, are we? We're talking about yarn. Yes, this is a yarn channel and knitting and crocheting and having fun with yarn and all the different things and projects that we should be working on. Um, although, is there really a crafting police that is supposed to tell us what project we're supposed to work on? And the fact that we started something else that's naughty and we're not supposed to do that. Or is that just me that talks like that? I don't know. Make what you want. I mean, let's go with it. Make what you want. So I was doing a live. I don't know if you had a chance to see that or not. So I was doing a live. My lives are sporadic, by the way. I have aspirations of, rec of um, maybe making regular lives or something, but you know, some days I'm just a lot more tired than others. And I would hate to have a schedule of that and then uh, not be able to pull through and actually do that. So I just, I was excited and energetic and everything else. So I did a live. There you go. But on that live, I kind of, I nicely got called out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've gotten nicely called out like this in the comments a couple of times. And I just acted like I didn't see it. Let's just face it. You know, but there is a specific project that um, I started closer to when I first started my channel. So people who've been around from, since the beginning know what it is. And it's time to work on this. I haven't worked on it in quite some time. I'm a... Uh, I'm close, you know, I've got a little bit more to do, a few more parts, whatever. I think if I worked on it, it's a crochet project. I think if I worked on it for a couple of days, actual sat down and worked on it, not just thinking about it, you know what I'm getting at, right? Um, I could get it done. Yeah, I think so, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's another head. It's a head. Yes, this is my dragon blanket. You're like, that's not a blanket. I know this gets sewn to a blanket along with the legs and some wings. I don't have the wings and a tail. I don't have the wings. I have the other pieces and I have the blanket done as far as I'm going to make it. That is in the um, crocodile stitch. Looks like dragon scales. It is stunning. It is heavy. Oh my gosh. But if you're familiar with the crocodile stitch, you know, it uses a lot of yarn and it's going to be heavy. But yeah. Do we notice a pattern trend? I got a head over here. You know, do you think they'd get along? Ball's down. This is Layla the love bug. I started Layla over a decade ago. So there are certain things that I keep around. This I started last year. This has more body than this. I've got, I've got legs. Layla doesn't have any legs, right? I have legs. Layla's supposed to have a body. Um, she's cute. Yeah, she's been my buddy for a decade. She's just headless. She just sits over there and minds her own business. She's adorable. I'm afraid if I put legs and everything on her, she might walk away. I don't know. You know, some might claim her. Something. Right now, I get to keep her. So, yeah, I've got all these legs. Look at these. They got little toenails. And I got these legs. Here's a third one. And just so you know, for all the people that are new to my channel and never saw it before, look, I got four legs. So I should probably do this. This probably should be my next blanket. I don't know who this is gonna go to, right? One of the grandkids, that type of a thing. Um, yeah, one of the grandkids, but I don't know which one, cause I've got five grandkids and it's just one of these things. So maybe the baby, that might be nice. And then see, here's the tail, right? And this is sparkly. This is the big twist twinkle, big twist. Oh, the sparkly one, a big twist, right? Big twist is a Joanne exclusive worsted weight yarn. That's it. Just a, just a nice worsted weight yarn. It just does what it's supposed to do. What else do I have in here? I have yarn. Ooh. What else I got? See, I've got some yarn. It's been living in there for quite some time. Um, hmm. I don't know where the wing is. I started it, but the amount I got done on it, it's not going to be a big deal to redo it because I don't know where it's at. But anyway, and then this is my blanket. And it's big. I don't know. See, look at that. It's upside down. Doesn't matter. 
doesn't it doesn't matter it's a blanket it doesn't matter but you can see all those dragon scales right that's a lot I call it dragon scales I know it's the crocodile stitch but since I'm making the dragon blanket doesn't it kind of remind you it's the closest we could get to dragon scales right it really is it is stunning and then the whole goal that you do with this thing is you would sew that, you know, like this. So if you're holding the blanket that way, or you can use it as a cape, put the blanket around you and everything, use it as a cape. So you got the dragon head there and you got the, the legs on it and then the tail at the end of it and stuff. And you throw some wings and there it's, you got the, you got the whole thing. So yeah. So it got brought, it got resurrected. There you go. Because like I said, it's only the old, old timers, the people who've seen my channel pretty much from the beginning that really remember the dragon. And once I brought it up, people remember it. But you know, I had to, yeah, okay. So there we go. So it's back out. It's it's out of its bag. I gotta shove, can you believe I got all that in that little bag? I mean, it's not a tiny bag, but I had all of that shoved in here. The head was sitting on top, but the rest of it was shoved in there. Pretty good at that, I guess. I had a yarn string hanging. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I got called out in the best way possible. I'm noticing I'm getting called out more lately. I, I, you know, I must be approachable, right? You only call out the people that you can feel approached, that you can approach. You know, um, yeah, that's the way I'm going to look at it. I look at it as a positive. So let me see. I think I must have had this thing folded because there's just no way to shove that thing in there. I don't know what size it is. I haven't measured it. And then, you know, like I said, I put the other stuff on it. Um, this one wouldn't be a good one to necessarily do for the, uh, for the Camp Boggy Creek for giving way. Like I said, it's going to a grandkid, but it wouldn't necessarily be like that because, you know, having all the amigurumi and everything else on there and it, it de definitely would fit my theme of something, um, completely wow, unique type of a situation. It would definitely, that I personally am doing that I'd like to do, but, uh, there you go. All right, so there's the blanket stuffed in there. I mean, it's it's quite nice. And I don't know, I had the legs in there like this. I'm gonna put this back so I don't lose any more parts or pieces because that's the last thing we want to do is to put all that work into it, lose a leg or something, happen to do a leg again on top of it. I mean, as it is, I gotta do the wings, but I didn't lose those. I just never finished them. Oh, midi needle. There we go, there's my size fours. They shouldn't have been in with the dragon because the dragon's crochet. Where'd it go? Where'd the other leg go? How did I lose a leg? There it is. Okay. All right, I have parts, I have pieces. Oh, there's a sock, there's a sock. Yeah, I started my socks. Forgot to show those on Monday. I do have more progress on those. Oh, okay, I'm tangled up in my sock. This is not good. But I do have more progress on those and uh, Somebody did comment on that, like, hey, it's June. Aren't you supposed to be working on your socks? Yes. Yes, I am. And that's because I try to do, well, I don't try. I actually do. I give away 10 pair a year, at least. Because um, my family loves the socks, the homemade socks. That's just one of the things, and it's a special gift. Um, that's the one that they look forward the most every year. After whatever, <laughs> it's so cute. After whatever Christmas presents are passed out, you know, kids open their stuff, parents open their stuff, whatever there happens to be, doesn't matter. The best, most favorite one is the handmade socks. Oh no, is that not a sight? That's dragon, put all the pieces together. That's a sight. Um, so towards the end of the year, I'm tired of making socks, you know, uh, they take a while. They're not, they're not necessarily hard. They just, they, they're small stitches. They take a while. It's just, let, let's face it. And uh, I don't want to look at socks. I don't want to do feet things. I don't want anything to do with socks for quite some time. But I did start my first pair. And this is what was getting tangled up with the uh, dragon because I set it right there on my, my table right in front of me. So I've got that. That's nice. This is the um, yarn I picked up at the thrift store. It was two partial skeins. So it's a wool yarn. I can feel that. So, you know, I had this, this darker color. I had a lot more with that. And then the yellow. And I thought because this has those yellow stripes in it, that'd be a good match. And then that's the back right there on the ankle. I did a twisted ribbing, you know, built it in, right? You know, started with a little bit and everything built it in to take up the whole back side of the uh, heel flap and went into the heel flap into the turn. Yay. So I've got progress on that. That's good. 
And uh, where'd the other one go? There, it fell off the table. Don't do that. And I started the second one instead of working to finish the first one. And uh, there's there's some twisted logic on that, right? We all have logic. So last year I was really successful of doing my socks two at a time. I still like my double points, so that's how I do it two at a time. I just need twice as many double points. We all have preferences. There's no right or wrong way. I like the product I'm getting, so there you go. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, I started the second sock, and my reasoning on that is I loved the fact that what I was doing last year was bouncing between them. And uh, so I didn't start it right away, right? That's why I'm here and that one's a lot farther. But I liked the fact that I got to bounce between them. And when I was done, I was done, which is one of the benefits of doing socks two at a time. The other thing that I liked is uh, since I'm working on so many projects, if I were to do one sock, which is nothing wrong with that, and then come back later, maybe a month later, the socks may or may not be the same size. I used to never have issues, used to never, used to never, that doesn't sound right, whatever. You get what I mean. But uh, in previous, in the past, I didn't have any gauge issues at all, you know, um, especially with my crochet. My mom used to tell me about that all the time, that my tension was always even and always the same. And I never understood what she was referring to because my stuff was just my stuff, right? It just, it just, that's it. But I understand now. And by that, I know that uh, when I was making my son, a pair of socks when he first went into the Navy. He was at Navy boot camp. Um, I made the first one and it fit him or it would have fit him, right? You know, he wasn't right there to try it on, but it would have fit him. It was a size 13. He's got big feet. It was a size 13, you know? And then uh, as he's in the Navy boot camp, you know, proud mom, all that other stuff, right? You know, it's just whatever, you know, I, I just, I just started gripping those needles a little tighter. And then I made the second sock. Now I cast on the same, I did everything the same. It was the same size needles, etc. but it came out as a size nine. Yeah. I still have both of them. Yeah. Because at that point, what do you do? Uh, do you get another skein of the same yarn and try to make another one with the same stitches as a size 13 and another one with a death grip as a size nine? There's not really much you can do. So I found that doing them both at the same time, if I'm bouncing from um, sock to sock, it, an example would be if here it was nice, loose, relaxed, if you want to call it that. And then, you know, I don't pick these up for a couple months. I'm going to work on them. But if I didn't pick them up for a month, a couple months, and then started with the the foot, well, I'd be still doing the feet both at the same time. So even if the cuff was nice and loose, the, the feet would be anywhere from a size 7 to a 12, depending on the death grip, right? But it wouldn't matter because they would match and they would still be able to fit one recipient, not, you know, two individual people with mismatched socks. So that was my logic on that. So um, previously I just had the one. So now I've got both of them working on it. So yeah. Uh, so that's that to me, it's exciting too, because on this one, I am right now ready to pick up all my stitches and go back into the round with all the stitches and do the gusset part and everything and decreasing. And this one, I am working on that heel flap and then I'll do the turn piece. And the turn is this, this little part right here for the bottom of the foot. And once I do that, then they'll both be at the same spot. So, you know, I'm close to both of them being the same. And then I can continue working on the sock. That's my logic. It's a little twisted, but it works. It's a little warped, but it works for me, right? Um, I twist a lot of things as far as yarn and math and knitting and crocheting logic in my head. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how we justify a lot with our crafts. But I'm good with that, right? I am, you know makes me happy. I enjoy what I'm doing. I, uh, I come alive when I'm playing with my crafts. Uh, the sad part is a lot of times beyond just doing the video like this, um, I don't get a chance to really, well, that's not true. I do get a chance to work on my projects, but I prefer sleep. Okay. Got to throw that out there. I prefer my sleep, my beauty rest, whatever you want to call it. So, um, most of my crafting, believe it or not, is relegated to the weekend time period uh, from Friday to Sunday. For some reason, I tend to wake up on Friday. And I think that's a psychological thing because I don't have to go to work the next day. I like my job, has nothing to do with that. But I don't have to get up at the same time. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know 
my little feral puppy is going to get me at the same time regardless. It doesn't matter. So it's all a mental block, right? Um, you know, he's going to get me up between 5.30 and 6.30 every day. It doesn't matter. Now, on the weekends, I can go back to sleep if I choose to. Uh, during the week, obviously, that's not really a good idea. But uh, I think a lot of it is psychological. So the Friday through Sunday is where I get a lot of stuff done. And we know this week I'm going to get a lot of stuff done. And the reason I throw that out there is we're going to Estes Park. We are going to the Estes Park Wool Market Festival Saturday. And that is like a two hour drive there. Enjoy doing all the things and a two hour drive back. I will not be driving. I will be chauffeured like a pretty little princess. My husband will be driving. <laughs> So since he's going to be driving, we'll be in the car that much time. It's, it is kind of nice because there's that talking and the communication and just being so close together and, and, you know, and it's just enjoyable. I really like going on road trips with him. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. And then I'll have my, whatever project that I bring with me, um, not going to be the blanket. That's a bit big, but uh, whatever project I bring with me in the car, whether it's going to be the socks, might, might be a good idea to really get those and get some more work done on them or something else. Uh, I don't have a kid's project in the car right now. And I really like to have those, those tops that I make and the dresses with the cozy toes and the other yarns like that. Uh, the equivalent that you can get on the market now to Hobby Lobby's cozy toes is Premier Fruits. It is the same yarn composition. It is wool free. It has a slight stretch to it. It will it um, holds its color beautifully, wears wonderfully. I mean, that composition is stunning for kids' clothes. I know it's labeled as a sock yarn. I know people have made socks with it. I personally have never made socks with it. I have always made garments with it. I know people have made socks with it and say it works up really, really wonderfully. I know Erin from Crafting Kitty has made socks with it, but that's not something I've ever done. I've just used that yarn, um, love that texture for it, very textural, but really, really like that for the kids' clothes. So I'm kind of itching to start something else like that. And I really like that too, because I have so many of the 50 gram balls and they're tiny and they fit in my tiny, I've got a little tiny bag that I keep in the car. And it's nice to have that. It's easy to travel. It fits on the wrist. You can walk around and work with it, that type of thing. So I really like that. So maybe I'll start something. I, I don't have anything started with it. I'll start something. Um, I really have to finish Hubby Sweater before I do that, though. But uh, that would be a nice one because doing the raglan, you know, once you get those stitch markers set, it's just easy. It's easy peasy. There you go. And, and it's a good car project. So uh, I don't have that. I've been bringing the socks in there. Um, but I like to have options, right? I mean, isn't that why we have so many things started? Isn't that where all that comes from is we like all the options. I definitely like all the options. There is no doubt about that. Um, I'm surprised I have been in here. Just see, this is, this is where I wake up. I totally wake up, uh, talking about all the yarn and the crafting and the projects and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead with that. I'm going to let you guys go because now my mind is spinning with the things, the crafting things and having a blast. And I'm going to play with my yarn and then go to bed because it's, it's late. It's bedtime. I, I'm tired. All right, everybody. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.